G'day, Jacob here again. I got a question off the back of last week's Blackboard Fridays video, and I'd encourage you to hit reply in those emails every week. Shoot your questions through to me. I read them all and I love hearing from you. This was a question uh, about a term that I'd used, brand promise, and what exactly I meant by that. So I thought this week we'd actually go through the simple framework that I use to help a client, one, draft what their brand promise is, and two, get all of their team members explaining their business in exactly the same way. So what is a brand promise? You've probably heard this call a number of different things. It's your elevator pitch, your positioning statement, your unique selling proposition. We like to use the, the term brand promise because it links this conversation uh, to two key elements, your bigger overall brand strategy, what you're famous for, what you're known for, and the promise that you make your customers at every step through the customer journey. And this is kind of the connection between the two of them, between your brand and your customers. We break it down into these five simple questions. You may want to personalize these. You may want to tailor them, create your own unique brand promise structure, and that's perfectly fine. In fact, I'd encourage you to do this, but this is a simple way to start, and it may well be sufficient. The first question, what is it you do? So this here is the answer, we do what? And you'd be surprised how many businesses struggle to actually answer that question directly. I asked this at an event a couple of months ago, uh, picked on somebody in the audience, as I am wont to do, and I said, what is it that you do? What's your business? And he said, we give brides an excellent experience. And I thought, that's great, and that sounds nice, and that's helpful, but what is it you do? And he said, well, you know, we set clear expectations with brides on their wedding day and we make sure we meet them so they've got no stress. I said, again, that's fantastic. That sounds really helpful. But what is it that you do? And this went back and forth three or four more times until he finally acknowledged that he was a limousine business. So all of those other elements were absolutely true. That was a big part of his brand promise. It was the value that he delivered his clients was that he would be there on the biggest day of their life. But he needed to make sure he actually told them what they did because he could well have been a florist, he could have been an event manager, he could have been a caterer. None of that came through until he explained, we rent limousines for brides. Keep this element simple because we can build on it as we go through. So the next question is, who is your ideal client? Who are you doing this for? So in his case, it was for brides, for couples on their wedding day, but he specifically knew that brides were largely the decision makers, so that was who his client was. And then what is it about those clients, question three, that makes them want to use your service? What's the pain that they're experiencing that you can alleviate? So in his case, we drive limousines for brides who want to know that nothing is going to go wrong on the most important day of their life. Now that's fairly broad, that's most brides, and that's okay. It speaks to a very, very common pain that they're experiencing. And this is something that needs to come through in your brand promise. It's not actually about you, it's about your clients. Question four is a little bit optional. It's important for you and your team to understand what it is you don't do. Because often it's very, very tempting to say that we can do anything for anybody. Actually articulating the things that you don't do helps focus your brand promise and it's that focus that creates cut through. And the last question is where you can start to have a little bit of fun. What is it about your process, your methodology, your business that makes it special? So for our limousine driver, we drive limousines for brides who want to make sure that nothing goes wrong on the most important day of their life. Our process ensures that they are fully looked after and never have to worry about where the car is and where they're going to next. That's fairly straightforward. I'll give you another example for me and my business. We provide business coaching, mentoring and advisory services for entrepreneurs of active growth businesses who can see the growth that they've got in front of them but just feel a little bit stuck or uncertain. We don't have all of the answers or do everything. In fact, Business Depot have a whole collective of specialists and I refer to more people to our collective than I actually take on as clients. I'm very clear on my limitations around building that strategy. And I know that our process, our methodology, ensures that our clients fill the gap from inspiration to execution. 
which means that they can execute their bright ideas faster, more confidently, and with the full support of their team. What are the answers for your questions? If you asked your team to answer those questions, would they come up with the same answers? And when each member of your team goes and talks to the market, to potential clients, potential referral sources, are they explaining this consistently? Or are they all over the shop with a whole lot of different things that you do and do well? Because consistency in your brand promise is how you get outcomes from your brand promise.